all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk cv your one and only youtube platform where they give now back to back updates on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this news yes Okay, my people, uh, the latest one with the boss brains at the moment, the latest one with the off people be say yes, the Cameroonian government don't come. <laughs> my people, this particular act where they don't do, don't make us understand. Say, these people have aligned with the Nigerian government to make sure that uh, the Biafra movement, the Biafra Navy, anything concerning Biafra does not succeed. And that is why they have uh, given... Um, they have given them the instruction on what to do against uh, the Biafra movement, against the Biafra uh, Navy. At this point, yes, uh, my people are see the hot way well, now. So these people don't tell Nigeria, don't tell their own military. That is, the Cameroonian government has ordered their own military to wipe out the Nigerian Navy uh, wherever they see them, of course, uh, uh, along the shores and the rest of it, to wipe them out completely, flush them down take everything that uh, they have down and that is the instruction that has been given to them no matter what uh, it is uh, a one big um reason that these people have decided to use on um, the biafra movement and the uh, biafra navy it just shows how far the nigerian government would go to make sure that we do not move forward as a, as a matter of fact uh, aligning with the cameroonian government to make sure that uh, the, the 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 biafra navy is wiped out it's one big foul move that they've decided to take up on uh, they, of course in one way or another they might have uh, exchange ways where they would benefit themselves just to make sure that the the, the biafra navy is wiped out or the biafra people the biafra uh, people are wiped out totally and the one thing is sure they are not stopping there but the one thing we should also have in mind at the same time is that these people will not be able to wipe out the biafra navy it is not possible they will try of course they will try but then it's not going to be possible the face off is going to be heavy it's going to be a, a, a heavy gun battle a heavy heavy duel but then what i am sure of is that it's not going to bring down the biafra navy the biafra navy has come to stay and no matter what these people um try to do it's not going to stop the effect of the biafra navy in the nation one thing i am also very very hundred percent sure of is that there no matter what happens no matter the the situation of things at some point it is not there also nothing is going to make people nothing is going to make people not understand the full reasons why these things are happening right now of course we've come to the extent whereby people are now really um, being sensitized and now understand what this biafra um cause the biafra battle the biafra movement is and uh, day by day as the pmbl gie simon Epa njoko keeps on putting in a hand in every single thing that looks like the upliftment of the biafra movement or the upliftment of the biafra uh, freedom you would come to understand that people get more enlightened and get more get to understand more how things truly are and with all these things rounding up with all these things being set up at the moment it just lets you understand that we are going far and wide and the fact that the set of people in the cameroonian government are just uh, are being very very swayed, of course by the nigerian government to do or to do their bidding because of course it is their bidding to do their bidding uh it is not going to stop us from getting to where we want to get to. it's not even going to stop them from collecting water water from our biafra navy because of course now we have the information is clear to everybody and so the biafra navy would be surely ready to take them down whenever they decide to attack no matter what this movement is going to continue nothing is going to be able to stop the movement of this uh of our cause and uh yeah, every single thing we've ever worked for would not end up in flames, would not end up in shame because um, it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time we've wanted to make this kind of progress. It's been a long time we've always wanted to get to this extent that we are right now, making every single person making every single person think and ask who is what is happening, why are the Biafrans suddenly making such um, 
such such development such upgrade in such a short time is something that you would think of and be like ah i never expected this to happen but then it is happening and it happened properly that we did not lose up to those soldiers because that is what they normally do they wake up in the morning and they feel hey we can do this we can do that we can expose we can uh, 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 we can wake up in the morning and expose or talk about anything we want to say because they are in charge of the media. Of course, that is what they will do. That is what they will do. Right now, we are still getting more more talks concerning how they they uh, uh, gone down some the, the the Biafran army or the the, the Nigerian soldiers gone down a, a set of Biafran soldiers. All lies. There are a lot of things you will see on social media today and you will begin to think that maybe this thing is true. Against us, it is 99.9%, if not 100% of those lies, of, of those news, is not true. It's not true. Maybe we look at the latest one that I'm seeing right now that is part of completely that lie. It says, troops destroy IPOP ESN command headquarters. And then there is a picture of uh, a whole lot of ammunition, phones, uh, uh, so many other things that they kept here saying that uh, they were the ones and they said that they cleared in quotes and destroyed an alleged supreme headquarters it's not possible they are not capable of doing that these people are not up to the standard of the Biafra Liberation Army to even find and spot and bring down the whole headquarters of the Biafra Liberation Army it is not possible and that is what and that is what that is what I am here to say None of it is possible. This propaganda has gone on a whole lot of time. And thank God, the PM has come out and declared that this particular talk, this particular issue that he's seeing right now, or this particular talk concerning uh, us not uh, having enough ammunition or whatever it is, is not possible. They are not able to contain us. They cannot contain what we are able to do. They, they are not fit to contain what the Biafra Liberation Army can do. With our alliances at this moment, with our PM currently in Canada for the conference he has promised, he said that will take place, that we are getting prepared for at the moment. With everything that is going on right now, it is not possible. It is not, it's in the possible, we are in the French. It is not, it's not possible at all. And so my people, I want to let you know that a whole lot of news you pick up from out there concerning anything concerning the IPOP. IPOP, I want to focus on the, the, the Biafra Liberation Army movement. Anything concerning the Biafran Liberation Army movement, anything concerning uh, the Biafran Army go being gone down. I want to focus on that because a whole lot of news that they give to the public is most of it is fake. But this one that concerns our movement, our movement, I want to let you know that it is completely fake. And we are not, we did not lose, we did not lose 20 men on that day that there was a gunfire. That was a gun battle, rather. We did not lose that amount, and that will always be steadfast. That's the main thing. The Biafran Liberation Army are always ready. We are not to be left. There is no day that the, the, the Biafran Liberation Army is not alert, alerted about anything concerning that is happening around them. So that they would always be ready for when these people, in quotes, Nigerian terrorists, comes up to come and hit or to do whatever it is they want to claim that might be a surprise attack. It's not possible. We cannot be allowed to be spoiled just that way. And so that is... And so, my people, none of these things can be scheduled and can say it will take place at any point in time because we are ever ready to go against these people. We have sectors, we have informations. You, you, you ask about how we know. Some of you wonder, rather, about how we get to know about informations that, uh, that are far off or you say that are far-fetched, but then we have people every single way, every single place. Because we have people that are steadily engaged in making sure that the Biafra movement would move. That they, there is always a move and a step would make every single day. There are people, a lot of people. We have thousands, if not millions of people ready at any point in time. Around the whole world, giving information whenever they get them. Every single person. There are a lot of people that are involved. If you're not working right now, if you're not, you're not giving information or whatever, then that's on you. But we have people that are giving valid information, resources, every single way. So we know there is always information, key, legit, legal information whenever it comes. And that is how we know the things that are going on in wherever we are that concerns the IPO movement.
they're concerned the Biafra movement, the Biafra, they're concerned this movement that would see to our that would see to our our referendum to our freedom from these people that have refused to let us go. So yes, my people, this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications soon. Thank you.